Hi everyone, it's Rez here, back with another video. I miss you guys. I haven't been shooting a lot of videos lately. Been busy. And yeah, so if you watched my previous video that I posted, it was to do with uh, my trip in Edinburgh. And what I did in the video is just kind of showing you um, like what the footage or the content that I was able to get in a way. Uh, but now I want to talk about the whole experience in edinburgh what happened uh not like what happened just a whole experience and most importantly what i want to talk about are the key highlights the things that i've loved about edinburgh or just a whole uh trip so uh left on friday around 10 50 uh, from inverness and got in uh edinburgh around 10 around 2 2 30 it was around 2 30 and I had to check in around three yeah uh, so the first thing that I noticed when I just got in uh, Edinburgh, or oh, we noticed because I went with my wife, the first thing that we noticed was like, guys, Edinburgh is so big. It's so big as a city. Now, I can't compare it to Inverness. Inverness is a small city. Inverness is small. So, uh, and if I was to compare it with Inverness, I would say maybe like what? Maybe Inverness, uh, you do times 10 of Inverness for you to get uh, Edinburgh. Maybe, kind of, just out of my view. And mind you, I only saw the city center. I didn't go like outside the city center. So you can just imagine if my only experience was of the city center itself, but I can say it was big, simply says it's big. So yeah, so got there around 2.30. And yeah, one thing that we noticed was it's big. The second thing that we noticed was that it is more of like a tourist destination uh, city. Guys, there was everyone with their suitcases, everyone moving in the city, uh, including us. Uh, everyone speaking their own languages with us. Yes, and everyone speaking their own languages and everything. But it was just, it was just like loaded. A lot of people. I think I'll post a video for you guys to see uh, how many, not like how many people were there, how crowded it was. But yeah, so that's one of the first things that we noticed that is big and it's more of like a tourist uh, destination uh, place. But yeah, so uh, the first day got there around three. And we're like, you know what, let's go for a walk because we're not tired. I mean, the train was like for three hours. So it's not like we were tired to say, you know what, let's just rest. No, we're like, you know what, let's go for a walk. Went to have food and then went to St. James uh, Mall or the shopping center. Guys, I've never seen a shopping center this big. It's good. It's really good. All the shops, you can mention any shop that you want to mention. You find it there. Almost all the shops are there. And yeah, uh, so just moved around uh the shopping center looking for things that we wanted to buy here and there this shop that shop but yeah it was really good uh, after that the next day it was on a saturday now uh we already had like plans i would say uh, of, or, or i should say ideas of what we wanted to do because when i was about to go to edinburgh my workmates uh, my colleagues sent me places where we should go uh victoria street you should go to this uh, restaurant we should go like we, we already had an idea of what we wanted to see so the first day, uh, the first thing on our list was the tour bus because it was it was more of like we really wanted to understand the history of Edinburgh or just to see or just to see how how it looks uh, like kind of like covering the whole city. So that's what we wanted, and the tour bus was like the best thing that we did. So there were three options: there was the red one, the green one, and the was it yellow one? Or I've just forgotten the other color. Uh, so they all have different services. But the green, we, we, we chose the green one because it had an orator who was talking about the history of Edinburgh, talking about the statues, talking about this road, um, like the names of the roads and everything, like the history of the whole city in a way. So we chose that one and it was really good to learn a lot about Edinburgh itself. And guys, I don't think I remember, I would say I remember some of the things they said, but I think I would say I remember. 30% of what he said, guys, it was just a lot of information and I just couldn't get um, all of it at one time because, I mean, it was a lot of information and, yeah, I was also busy looking at the views and everything that I would miss some of the things that he was saying, but it was really good. So, after the tour bus, uh, we now went to the Edinburgh Castle, uh, which was a good experience, liked it. And, guys, one thing that I noted, this, like, the Edinburgh Castle is one of the, I would say, uh, most tourist attraction sites in Edinburgh because there's just like everyone like it's like the whole city had gone to the Edinburgh castle so we went there and yeah uh, there's just a lot to see there uh, there's there, there, there's a great hall 
they are just different rooms. There's kind of like a museum in a way. So there's just a lot to uh, to look at or explore at uh, the Edinburgh Castle. Uh, so after that, uh, we waited for the one o'clock uh, gun. So there's a, there's a gun that uh, fires at one o'clock. Every is it every single day? I don't know. I think it's every single day. Uh, so we had to wait for it, and yeah, it did. Uh, it's kind of like, and there were many people. So at first, me and my wife were like, you know what? We have to go close. We have to see it. They're like, okay, let's move around. Uh, the other places at the castle. So we did. Uh, so when it was around five minutes to one, we were like, okay, now it's time for the one o'clock gun. Let's go. Guys, when we went there, if we, there was just a lot of people, like a lot of people. <laughs> like we couldn't even uh, take the first like line or whatever. We just had to stand a little bit far and had to take, like, I'll show you like a video of what I took. And after that, yeah, I uh, went to the cinema and then finished our day like that. And uh, yeah, we watched the Ghostbusters. I don't like movies though, but this movie, I didn't like it too. <laughs> I, okay guys, I, I give it like what? I give it like a five out of 10. Maybe my expectations were high. Like, you know, when there's something strange in the neighborhood, we're gonna call Ghostbusters, you know, like Kali Kali, there were these cartoons that we used to watch. Now in my view, like, I was like, you know what? Like this it will be like a good movie, but then maybe it's good. But I just didn't like it. But anyway, sorry for another day. I don't review movies here. I'll give it five still, but I don't re review movies here. So, so yeah, that's how we uh, finished our day. And so the next day, we had uh, three things, like three activities, I'll say. So the first one was to see the uh, Edinburgh University because it's somewhere that I want to study, like sometime in the future. Uh, go to the museum and then uh, go to the World of Illusions, like some activity, but then... The third one we didn't do because we hadn't yet booked and there was no slot for us to go. But yeah, so uh, in the morning, went to the Edinburgh Castle. No, not Castle. Went to the Edinburgh, uh, the University of Edinburgh. And guys, so good. So good. I was like, you know, like you go, you go at a place that you want to study at. And the moment you see you like, oh, this is it. So I really plan to study there like sometime in the future. I hope I do. So we saw the library and I was like, you know what? I want to go in. I want to see how it looks like. So I went. Um, Go to the reception. I was like, you know what? I am uh, a prospective student. I'd like to study here in the near future. I just want to have a view of the uh, library. So the guy was like, oh, cool. That's okay. You can move around. Guys went into the library and, yo, know, I was like, yo, it's like, I, I just enjoyed it, to be honest. I just enjoyed it. Like, so after the University of Edinburgh, now went to uh, the museum, which was good. It was a really good experience. There's just a lot to see. There's just a lot to learn, like from seeing whatever is there. It's just a lot that we had. Like we we, visit, we visited like what three or four floors. It's just too big. It's like it's too big. Yeah. So yeah, it was really good. Then after the museum, uh, we went to the World of Illusions place, only to find out that we couldn't get a slot in because it was fully booked for that day. And they gave us a time like what you should book for for 5 p.m. or something but we're like you know what nah uh, we'll be tired by the time we're just like you know what done for the day so after that we just moved around shops and everything so we, st we went back to st james um st james shopping center and then yeah finished our day like that and the next day left for inverness so yeah pretty much that's it so the key highlights for this trip i'd say the first one is how big the city is oh guys so big uh there are buildings and everything like Asian buildings in a way and they try to maintain how things were back then and how things are now uh, I remember like when we were on the tour bus uh, the the guy who was giving the history was like for well, these windows on the outside you, you're not supposed to change them you can be able to change on the inside but you can't change on the outside the council moves around to see it's like a lot of things happening there I was like oh cool so yeah so I'd say uh, the Asian buildings like that's one of the key highlights uh, the second one I'd say it being a tourist attraction site or place i think that's one of the things that somehow like i was like oh okay cool you likely get to meet uh, people from different countries and uh, people from different places and i would say so yeah um yeah and uh, the last key highlight which was the best experience for me was visiting the university of edinburgh a place that i want to study at sometime in the future but yeah so that's it guys uh, i thought i'd just share uh, to give a little bit more like details because uh, the previous video it was just like you guys seeing what we're doing but this one was like can i explain a little bit about the trip itself so this is it uh i hope you subscribe
you should subscribe. But anyway, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.